All right. Well, we are backstage with Tate McRae. Two faces for radio. We've got a Lala set later today. You kind of nervous about it? Yeah, I have two sets. I have like an I acoustic. Know, we just saw that on uh, Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so what? Is, what is this? Uh, you said like a shorter acoustic one, kind of. Yeah, it's like I think it's more like intimate in like a tent, and I'll just be doing it with my guitars, Zach. So oh. it'll be fun. Well, very cool. Nice. And then uh, you nervous for your uh, main set later? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, this is my second festival I've ever performed at, so. Especially coming up after COVID. Have you had any shows since March of last year? I had one last weekend. Okay. It was like a minier one, but uh, <laughs> this one's a lot a bigger. One, yeah. <laughs> this one's a lot bigger. Compared to Lollapalooza, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lala's huge. You got a whole new audience, too. <laughs> so uh, last time we talked with you, it was not in person. It was on Zoom, and it was right when You Broke Me first came out. Yeah. Now, there's been quite a bit that has happened since then. So your uh, new song with Khalid that we're playing on the radio now, plus the song you did with Regard and uh, Troy Sivan. Tell us a little bit about how those came about and how that all worked. Um, well, for Khalid, I remember he just hit me up and he was like, I want a girl to sing on this and I want you to sing on this song. So really? That's <laughs> it was <laughs> it was really cool. So um, obviously I like wanted to do a collab with him for like the longest time. Yeah. And then uh, I ended up just like tweaking my verse and writing it and then recording it, set it over. And then it kind of just happened. We met for, like, the first time at the music video shoot, which was crazy. Oh, really? Same with, like, I haven't even met Troy in person yet. Like, a lot of these situations are so weird because you, like, don't even know the people that yeah. well. Who's somebody that you want to collab with that you haven't yet? I mean, Post Malone's, like, a dream of mine. <laughs> He's here tonight, isn't he? Yeah. I He's know. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> hit him up back here. You just got to look... Keep your eyes out. You see him. I know. I gotta be. I gotta be natural when I see him. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You got your. Uh, you got your new EP that you just released as well. Too young to be sad. Um, Tommy and I were both kind of curious about that title. How? Uh, yeah. How'd you come about that? I mean, I genuinely just think that a lot of people my age, and like you know, I, I feel like we spend so much time dwelling on things that probably won't matter in four months. Yeah. And I just like I've realized that in a lot of situations, I'll spend so much time overthinking something and then realize that it was like completely irrelevant in my life like uh, four days later yeah, <laughs> I, I saw I, you told me the title and I was like I feel like teenagers are some of the most sad people you totally know, just, just kind of like what you said we they spend so much time like oh my gosh this is going on so and so said this yeah. online and it's just kind of interesting I wanted to know about it yeah and I don't think people realize that how like valuable like just being present and happy is until you get older so exactly I gotta ask you about what you're wearing too. So <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> I'm wearing a full Gucci set. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of colors. <laughs> Tommy's a big fashion guy. Yeah, Are you? I saw you had the hat too, which oh, is yeah. bananas. My uh, my mom styled me for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom what? My mom styled me for this one. There you go. Oh yeah, she's oh, like geez. she's like the best stylist ever. <laughs> she's like, uh, who cares what it costs? Let's just swipe the credit card and let's be on our way. That's crazy. Perfect. She's the best. Um, what's happening with, uh, my, I think my favorite one on that EP is Bad Ones, and nothing's mm -hmm. happening from it, and, like, no, like, single marketing or stuff, and I'm so disappointed, I love the music video that y'all shot for it, and Thank then you. I want to hear it on, like, on the radio, and I want to hear it on everywhere, and it's, you broke me first, and now it's working, and I was, I know, the whole reason I brought that up, because I was wondering, is what on that EP is kind of your favorite, what's one that you kind of really I like? love Bad Ones, uh, too. Uh -huh. Bad ones kind of feels like a second to like you broke me first. It's produced by the same guy, and he is like incredible. Um, he's like one of the most insane producers ever. That song I really love. I really like Are You Okay. I think there's a lot of songs in there that I think are just like very personal to me and you know are are special. So. Cool. So in making the album process, what was it like for you? Like how many songs did you originally come up with, and how many made the final cut, and like how did you make those decisions? Um, well, it was like an EP, so it was kind of just like a pandemic EP. I'm in right. actually in the process of writing like a full debut album right now. There we go. Which is like a lot, because I want it to be oh, perfect. Sure. So I'm uh, I'm spending a lot of time on it and writing with a lot of people. So yeah. yeah. So that's obviously coming up next. You have uh, your tour, and you're going, I saw, I think one of your first dates is in, like, Germany in, like, yeah. September. Are you excited for that? Yeah, I'm going to Europe, doing a full U.S. tour. Um, I think they're all selling out, which is crazy, so Jeez. it's really exciting. Well, that's super cool. Well, thank you for sitting down with us today. Of good course. Luck, uh, on your set later. I know. Thank uh, you. Both sets. Yeah, the both sets, I, know. Too. I see I know. on Twitter um, a lot of WZPO people that follow us and stuff are all 
it's Tate Day. I'm like, yeah, it's Tate Day. Like, it's cool. <laughs> it's like, Post Malone Day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we can get you all together, too. That would oh, be cool. Well, thank you guys. So nice seeing you again. Absolutely. Yeah. Seeing you